Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be doing my full video review of one of my favorite icon packs of all time that was just released, Aurelia. So Aurelia sports over 1400 HD icons, it's got dynamic calendar support, uh, Android L styled wallpapers, and the entire dashboard application feels like Android L. It promises frequent updates, a ton of launcher support, and uh, so much more. So let's go ahead and dig in. So continuing on about the design of the icons, uh, we can see that they're pretty bright and they're bold. They have a two-tone color to each one and they look really, really nice. Now the drop shadow, if you're worried about it looking really bold or like other icon packs, it definitely doesn't look like that here. It's a very, very subtle uh, shadow to complement the icons and it looks great. So if we go ahead and open up the app drawer, you can see these icons in action. They all look really, really nice. Now, I've been waiting for this icon pack to drop for a little while. I've been following the developer on Google+, Plus, and now that I finally have them, they look so, so nice on my Nexus 5 here. And although they're not all supported, the ones that are look really, really good. So the only complaint that I have about this icon pack, I'll go ahead and be honest, is the dialer application icon. Uh, the default one anyway is backwards and i'm not sure if that's something that was uh, an oversight by the developer or it was intentional i just don't really care for it being backwards but that's just a really really small uh, gripe about the icon pack other than that though the icon pack looks amazing i would say so if we go ahead and jump into the dashboard application we can see that it's got that android l feel to it with the header up top the enlarged uh, magnifying glass it's got a ton of launcher support nine nova kitkat Epic Launcher, AVA, Apex, ADW, Action, just so many launchers. I've never seen this many launchers supported. If you go ahead and check it out in the Play Store, you'll see what I'm talking about. But we do have a menu icon up here that allows us to get to the change log. We can check out the credits and licenses, rate and view, review the icon in the Play Store, and report any bugs we have. Better yet, it's even got a magnifying glass up top, as mentioned, which allows us to search for certain launchers. So if we want to see uh, if Solo or maybe Nova is supported, we can do that. It's a really, really nice implementation of searching for launchers. Swiping in, we get our navigation menu. And uh, if we go into the icons, we can see the newly added icons, pretty much sections that are added in every icon pack nowadays, app drawer, alternative, uh, we can check out the apps and of course the next section would be the gains and then lastly is dates which will show us all of the dynamic calendars and how those would look if you applied a certain type of calendar but anyway if we hit that magnifying glass again we can search and this time we can search for if our favorite app is supported it's just a really nice implementation to have the magnifying glass at different areas of the app so that you can search for different things in the app the icon request section is really simplified, uh, like a lot of other applications, but it looks really, really nice. Uh, you can just go ahead and tick which applications you want to be themed that aren't, and then send it off in an email to the developer to hopefully be supported in a subsequent update. Uh, swiping back in and going to wallpapers, you can see here that the wallpaper look and feel is a lot different than a lot of the either icon packs that I've reviewed and any other ones that I've actually ever seen that I haven't reviewed. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at different wallpapers, you can see that they're collapsed until you click on them, uh, then they'll go ahead and expand. And once you find one that you like, you don't have to expand it, but you can if you would want, uh, but you can just basically hit that three dots down below the action overflow and then go ahead and choose to either download or set the wallpaper. Now, once you hit set wallpaper, it's gonna go ahead and just immediately set the wallpaper. Uh, there's no cropping required, which is really, really nice on the user's part. It just does everything for you. Uh, these wallpapers, by the way, look absolutely beautiful. The developer has really done a great job with everything inside this application. Jumping on into settings, it's a pretty boring settings as settings normally are, but you can see that Android L toggle right next to the hide and chill launcher icon it looks really really nice and it's so subtle but it's something that just works to sort of keep the android l theme going in this application you've also got a social media so google plus twitter facebook you can email him and join the google plus community of course and there's also help so you can check out a q a regarding the launcher maybe things that aren't working things that might have a problem and it even explains the permissions which is really really nice that the developer is being transparent about why certain permissions are being asked of the user and then you can go ahead and check out the about section of the icon pack 
Again, this was Aurelia Icon Pack. It's definitely, definitely one of my favorite icon packs right now. It has a beautifully done application. The icons look great. The wallpapers are awesome. It's just a really nice looking icon pack overall. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down below. You guys can check that out. And while you're down there checking that out, don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoyed it and subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos like this. Uh, that's pretty much been it. That was Aurelia Icon Pack. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.